So the budget which is now around the corner uh, is always an exercise that is looked at with great anticipation across the country. In many ways, we have been telling the government, please turn the, gov the budget only into a statement of accounts of the government and not have it as a place for policy statements. But the reality is it has been and has continued to be a place and time when the government makes many, many important policy uh, announcements. I hope this time the budget would focus on three things. One is to look at how public finances can become more robust, that the government can generate revenue either by disinvestment or privatization of assets which it does not need to, to own and run. There are many uh, assets in the government which can be run much more efficiently uh, by private uh, enterprises. There are also assets which the government doesn't need. It's sitting on large land resources uh, owned by public sector companies, defense, the government itself. I think those are easily uh, disposable assets which will bring in resources into the government. And any time a government announces a social program, and by the way, these are necessary programs, these are very useful and good programs, it must back it up by resources which are generated from other than the already committed resources the government has. And because of the difficult time the economy has right now across the globe, I think it is also timely for the government to take a step back and look at its own FRBM commitments, the commitments to fiscal and financial consolidation, uh, consolidation that if there is some slippage to the fiscal deficit for this, this time and the government can demonstrate where and how that money is being used for productive asset creation, productive infrastructure, which would give benefit by job creation while the infrastructure projects are on and give huge benefit to the overall economy and industry and jobs once they get completed. Those would be completely acceptable uh, slippages to the uh, FISC. And I think any rating agency, any expert, any economist can only but agree with something like this. Liked the video? Then don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to Entrepreneur India. Hit the bell icon to get notified for more such videos.